Do you want action? Do you want adventure? Do you want to argue? Do you want to compete on the battlefield of words and ideas? Join Draper Park Debate this fall. You're a couple. One, you get to go to tournaments, and you can place and win trophies and other cool prizes. It's awesome because when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer. It's helping me with many skills. Awesome because you get to freaking argue, and who doesn't want to argue? Yeah. Because you get to have fun and compete and learn how to talk super fast and uh, learn how to crush other people. It is awesome because I can talk so fast now that my friend's teacher can't even understand me. Yeah. It's awesome because you get to hang out with people like this person. <laughs> I saw, I debated, I conquered. Join DPMS debate. I am now for a debate this fall! <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Colette. I'm the debate teacher. Debate offers lots of different events for lots of different interests and personalities. The primary event is called policy. This is where you debate a resolution with your partner. Resolution this year is the United States federal government substantially increase its economic and or diplomatic engagement with the People's Republic of China. Um, this could include space debris, ocean, Taiwan, um, and uh, several other options. Last year, the topic dealt with the U.S. and domestic surveillance. Policy debates emphasize government laws, the practical process of changing the laws through Congress, through judicial action or through executive orders. The second type of debate is called Lincoln-Douglas. This is where you debate by yourself. These topics tend to be more moral or philosophical debates. Um, the other three events are speech events. They include extemp. This is giving a speech with very little preparation. It's usually on a news topic. Um, it could include the presidential election, immigration reform, technology. The second speech event is called impromptu. This is um, also even less preparation. You're given a quote. You kind of often think of a story, think of uh, some words of wisdom that you give basically on the fly. And the third event is called oratory. This is, um, this is the third speech event where you can give this, uh, it's prepared speech. And so you can choose any topic that you want and uh, it's, you want it to be memorized and prepared and practiced. It's almost more of a, a performance. So as you can see, there's lots of fun opportunities in debate. There's lots of different options that will appeal to different personalities and different interests, whether you're more of the analytical mind, whether you're more of the creative mind. Um, the biggest commitment for debate is that we'll, uh, you'll be required to attend a few after-school debate tournaments. This is kind of the most rewarding part of participating in the debate. And um, you argue in front of judges and argue in front of opponents. And you learn and grow a lot by doing that. And so uh, join debate. It'll be a learning and growing opportunity.